I've changed the mic settings and the clicking might have stopped. Even so, I have ordered myself a new Elgato Wave. Don't know when that's coming, to be honest, because they're out of stock basically everywhere. But I'm sure it'll be a good upgrade anyway, because this doesn't look particularly appealing. I've lost the initial stand for it. I tried to use my blue snowball tonight, but the audio quality is a joke. It's disgusting. I can't believe I spend so many years recording on this. Yes, Harrogate will be the team that we'll be using for FIFA 21 Youth Squad Legends. Anyway, shall we get on with it? It is episode 15 of the Youth Squad Legends series with Walkley Wanderers. Tonight we're only going to go through a couple of games because it's already late. I'm knackered. Of course, there's only a month and a bit left of FIFA 20 and I don't really want to like stress myself out that much. So if it comes to maybe Walkley Wanderers in FIFA 20, the goal is to get to the Football League. I don't know. I want to like diversify my videos through the next month bring something interesting to the channel until we have to go back to Youth Squad Legends uh, with Harrogate Town. It's a good question about like PlayStation and PC for FIFA 21 because PlayStation 5 will be next gen. The PC version, somehow, they've not made next gen. Let's talk about a couple of the changes that we've seen in the side. We've got overall upgrades, boots have been applied, kits have been untucked. Abbott now looks like someone from St. Kitts and Nevis. Squad numbers have been changed as well. Changed Johnson back to a central midfielder. Loving the fact Fish is like 48 overall. He deserved a big upgrade. He was absolutely exceptional last time out. It's Maidenhead against Walkley and looking at that side that they've brought out, we've got a chance. They are the right age. I have sorted out the ages as well. Yep. Reese gets some help from uh, Johnny Yates. It's a big sliding tackle. Hopefully, Reese is okay. He's holding his knee. That is not a good sign. Bayer good. Chip up. It could be. Reese. Is Bayer good? Reese. Trying to go across there. Johnny Yates took up a very decent position in that box. It's going to be a Walkley Wanderers corner kick punched away by the goalkeeper who's wearing number seven. Awesome. Johnny Yates. Whoa! Okay, that was going to be a straight red card if he made contact. He's onside. Reese. Yes! It's a good touch by Johnny Yates. Oh, he can't take the shot. How about that for a through ball? George Pickering has the stamina. Doesn't have straight line speed in comparison to many of the players here in the National League. There's a bit of shirt pulling going on. Back post. Abbott! Get it! <laughs> That's been coming. George Pickering's inclusion. And we got Abba up front with a spinning volley. We're about to win a game in the National League. I think George Pickering is one of them players that can go much further with his career. I think he's only like 24 at the moment. Now that he's got quality players around him, you're seeing the best of George Pickering. 1-0 Walkley Wanderers. Phenomenal work. Yeah, it was pretty tough, wasn't it? Look at the defensive awareness of both teams. Maidenhead only having two shots. We were just knocking at the door, putting more and more pressure on as the game went on. Oof, them sequins. Kishi Rose has been sold! Oi, oi! Loan offer for Luke Tate, which we're going to reject for now. Oh, from Maidenhead. So, obviously, they saw him in the last match. Got very impressed. Want him on loan now. I like that. I like things like that happening in FIFA saves, even though it's totally random. Walkley Wanderers against Hartley Pool United. I think we all have a soft spot for Judd, to be fair. Hold on. Can you see that? There is a linesman flag hovering in midair. Look, 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 can you see it? Can you see it right there? What the, f what on earth? What? Can we make it two wins out of two? These guys have got so much more fight in comparison to the first season of Wimbledon. Oh, Jason White's took too long on the ball. Time to defend. If we can, we cannot. Charlotte is beaten by the powerful, low-driven shot. Hartlepool have the lead. We have to push on and get a really quick counter-attack going. Reese, this is going to be the last attack of the half. It's Alphonse Reese. 1-1. Game on for the second half. We are struggling from that magnificent diagonal pass. They've gone to the edge of the box. It's Joshua Fisher. Who else to stop the shot? Oh, Pickering's gone, hasn't he? Go on, George Pickering! Hype man, George! 
George Pickering, worthy of the number seven. Get in, lad. Dacer Judd has been kind of a passenger, but he has been making himself known to them centre backs. At least they have to track him around and open up space for other players. Oh, nice Battersby. Someone in the last stream complained about Battersby. Like, how can you be complaining about that lad? Really? Battersby needs to chase. Who was in that box? It's a... No. <sighs> Heartbreak. I think the head out that was played across isn't a pass. I'm pretty sure it's a naff shot that's just skimmed off the forehead. If it's a bad shot that's just dropped, how can you defend it? Please get into the box, everyone. I'm going to put in a, a delivery and just hope. Well, <laughs> there was a bit of hope there. Not much. 2-2, two, two, it's still a good result. I mean, we're picking up points here and there. Some of the new signings are, are very, very promising indeed. Yeah, look at them match facts. Hartlepool were pretty dominant. Let's see how far this central attacking midfielder has dropped. He was max potential 98, and now it's max potential 83. Turkey, South Africa, Lesotho. We have uh, three players above 16 years old here. Potentials high on the goalkeeper now that's not a very good sign because we already have plenty of goalkeepers capable goalkeepers this guy's a striker we do need forwards mm. he's potentially quick all right athleticism is quite a broad range between 17 and 94. Radaby is joining up with the squad. See what Turkey brought us. Ooh, plenty. This guy's got 92 potential. Oi, oi, oi. But he's a central defensive midfielder. He's 15 years old. He's not going to help us in the short term. We do need players like for the immediate future. And Adnan Gunver is probably the best option. Mott Lassie to see six foot one 19 years old hopefully not another modu bar he's a center mid of course he's a center mid no 47 49 57 so i'm gonna bring in gunver like straight away 70 on ball control okay i can work with that i'm risking it for a biscuit let's get into the main menu again in a shocking turn of events we're bringing in ko Radaby, and we're playing him striker alongside Alphonse Rees for this game, of course. Like, if I was doing that all the time, the Dexter Judd fanboys out there would kill me. Stockport County against Walkley Wanderers. It's a great effort. You know what? Shots like that ain't gonna get saved. Stockport County have gone 1-0 up. What are you supposed to do with a shot like that? Shola got very close. Time, Gunvot. That ball control is making a run as well. Oh, yes. Gunver! Yes! Now then, he looks like a player, doesn't he? That's what we need. Instant impacts. Concentrating a little bit. The back heel. Oi! Well read. Guess who? Joshua Fisher. Oh. No, it's not foul. It's no penalty. He's gone down very, very easily. And the referee agrees. Here goes Pickering. End to end action. George Pickering drops it. Oh Alphonse Rees. Big slide tackle comes in. Alphonse Rees. Can he get into the box? Yes, he can. It was a standing tackle. Alphonse Rees tries to get it across to Radaby. Played Golovin. Oh, well, that's just going to spell disaster there. And Joshua Fisher, for all the confidence that he brings to the side, has made quite a boo boo. I'm making mistakes. Big time mistakes. You know, if this goes in, I've truly deserved that for being absolutely stinking at the game. It's a bad result. Stockport County, better than us. Time to move on. We're going to play another game. Two shots. One on target for Walkley. At least it went in. All right, let's take a look at the player injury. It's Jason White. Hopefully he's not out for long. Probably a broken toe. It's a bruised elbow. Mate. My elbow. <laughs> Knowing the qualities that we've got here, I want to put Abbott up front with Reese. Pickering's tired, so he'll be replaced. Let's have Modu Bar out on the wing. Because look at that. Physical and pace. 73 physical. How are you terrible? I'm happy with that. It's Yeovil Town, ex YSL team against Walkley Wanderers. Let's get a win and finish this stream on a very high note. Modu Bar as a winger might be a masterstroke. Go on, Modu! Believe in the bar! Yes! Oh my god! Modu Bar! What have I just seen from a guy that simply couldn't hold the ball 
when he was playing up front. Johnson to Abbott. Great turn. Abbott could strike. Oh, what a finish by Jerome Abbott. Deserves all your vuvuzelas. It deserves my round of applause. Great strike into the top corner by Jerome Abbott. Phenomenal. Oh, risky passing. Risky. Go on then. Modu. Oh, oh, Modu ball. Yes, lad. No, oh, that's it. Getting the best out of players. They do love their crosses, don't they? This is a mixture of power and pace, and it looks pretty frightening, to be honest. What would be a good real life comparison to that without saying the obvious Adama Traore because it's absolutely not. How have they scored that? Gareth Bale, Tottenham years. Obviously not as technically gifted at the moment, but I'm just talking about his running technique. Oh, now that is unlucky. There were two automatic blocks in there. It's like I'm not even controlling my team. With Morgan Baisley Graham on the field, we're going to concede and we're going to lose. To tip on by Charlotte. I mean... That is just ridiculous, isn't it? Morgan Baisley Graham's career is over. We've conceded two goals that I've had nothing to do with. I feel pretty sorry for him because I don't think any of this is his fault, but it genuinely is. Every time Morgan Baisley Graham comes onto this field, we concede. Full stop. 3-2 at full time to Yeovil. What's happened in that second half is beyond me. It's one of the strangest defeats. So we're in 20th position at the moment. Bile Torquay, Aldershot and Sullyhill Moors really struggling. Harrogate there, our next Youth Squad Legends team in mid-table. Top of the shop is Woking. Chorley, Sutton, Halifax, Ebbsfleet and Chesterfield. Oh boy, look at that. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me shimmer and sparkle. Player of the episode is brought to you by Matteo Payet. We're going to go for George Pickering, albeit a very difficult choice. This has been Cutsy. Thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below the bell icon for mobile notifications. I will see you next time. Bye.